I got this package here from eBay. It comes in a shoe box with a bunch of old vintage cars and I can't wait to crack it open and see if I made a profit on this thing or not. Let's find out. I went eBay hunting recently to search for more Magic the Gathering collections or lots and I stumbled upon a vintage lot that had some portal cards visible in the picture. So I thought it might be worth the gamble. Ended up paying just over $220 for this lot, so I really hope it's worth it. Let's find out. All right, I got this for a little over $200. Uh, there wasn't any cards that at least presented that looked to be very valuable. But, uh, I don't know, I do like vintage cards. I thought it would be worth a little bit of a gamble and see if we can actually profit on this thing. Uh, I'm going to try to go through these a little more slow than I typically would with one of these random buys because I did get a little bit of complaints before. Uh, people were upset because they couldn't read the cards. They wanted to, uh, I guess, me to slow roll them a little bit. Okay, so this is not opening the best, but it's okay. I don't really care if I damage this shoebox. Let's uh, crack this open aggressively. Let me just do a little bit more, a little bit more maintenance here. Cut into that. Yeah, so uh, I don't really see a lot of good collections on sale on eBay or anything. I was really hoping when I started this series that I would have a lot more opportunities as I actually do right now. Oh, it's a nice little look at look at that. You can see which ones are older or at least a little more greasiness on the top there see the color differences in each one of these cards wow that's uh this is gonna be fun okay guys uh without any further ado let's start cracking into this thing i'll display the price point on screen of how much i'm accumulating right now and how much i paid and then we'll start from here let's grab this first stack and let's just jump right into this okay Oh, that's backwards. I can put this on the ground. Okay, so I'm gonna put this aside. We'll just cre keep grabbing stacks of cards and let's just go into this. Okay, flip, I'll flip this around. Oh, no, other side, maybe. Ooh, you see that? Cards from the dark there, I like to see that. Okay, so we do have uh, Carvex Torch. We got uh, five of those. To uh, one flare, Goblin Elite Infantry, Regal Unicorn. This is a uh, huh. This is actually decent condition. This is from Portal. I'm gonna keep that aside. Any Portal card could be worth a decent a bit. Well, in the future at least. Carnivorous Plant. Sorry, that is my cat. <laughs> Literally just stepping in as I started filming. We got two of those. Lay Druid, Giant Tortoise, Backfire. So we're gonna go a little bit faster than this and see what we get. Some nice cards in 4th edition, Bird Maiden. Another Border Guard. This is from Portal, so I'm just making sure there's no issues. This card seems a little flimsy, but it seems fine. Okay, we do have another one, Touch of Brilliance. We got two Portal cards there, Giant Octopus, Symbol of Unsummoning. Ingenious Thief, we have two of those. Highland Giant, a Mountain Goat. Venerable Monk, nice. Giant Octopus, Touch of Brilliance. Another Giant Octopus, Horned Turtle. Ingenious Thief, wow. I have to go through these again and uh, put them all together in order. Um, actually, I'm going to keep these a little closer to the screen so you guys have a better look at these cards. Time Ebb, hmm. Not too bad. Steam Frigate. I don't think this is Portal. This is one of the starter sets. Um, we have Ingenious Thief again. T another Time Ebb. Two of those. Wow, we are getting a lot of these Portal cards. Lizard Warrior Burning Cloak. We have Highland Giant. Hill Giant. This is uh, one of the originals. See, you can tell it's Portal by the sword and shield there. Fire Imp. Love that artwork on that. Does he look like Dobby? The hair. <laughs> Muck Rats. Uh, we have Lizard Warrior. Mind Rot. Monstrous Growth. Okay, I'm hoping to see Portal 3 Kingdom cards here. Rowan Tree Folk. Raging Goblin. Great card. Great card. Uh, one of the first Haste Goblin creatures out there. 
Okay, we have Owl Familiar. If you guys are familiar with this owl, uh, we have Feral Shadow, Spitting Earth, Grave Digger, Vampiric Touch, Feral Shadow again, uh, Spotted Griffin, Skeletal Crocodile, Regal Unicorn, Venerable Monk, Defiant Stand, Sacred Nectar, Bull Hippo with Island Lock. Very confusing, but it does make sense for Bull Hippo. Border Guard again, Mind Rot, Gorilla Warrior, Grizzly Bears. Okay, so we got some more Tree Folk, more Monster Scrolls. We just see that recently. A Warrior's Charge. Okay, all your creatures get plus one, plus one until end of turn. I'm just going to let my cat out just in case he keeps coming back. One sec. Sorry for that little delay. Uh, it was getting on my nerves, so I had to let him out. Put these aside again. All right, Warrior's Charge, Feral Shadow, Volcanic Hammer. A uh, nice card from the dark here, Water Worm. Remember, these are... Uh, really old cards from the dark. One of the first sets. Bog Imp, Bog Rats. We have Saven Elves, Sunken City, Brainwash, Ghost Ship, Goblin Hero, Dust to Dust, Goblins of the Flarg, Squire, Venom, Festival. Really nice. We have Goblin Digging Team, Deep Water, Water Worm, Goblin Shrine, Holy Light, Inquisition. We have Land Leeches, Squire, Scarwood Goblins, uh, Saving Elves again, Riptide, Merc Dwellers. This is actually on my list for some of the worst art in Magic. Uh, some people disagree. The thing about judging artwork is a lot of it's going to be up to you. So it's going to be a little bit personal. Ooh, nice! Look at these older lands here. Put these piles aside. Wow! What are these, Arena or Starter Lands? Ah, oh, what are these called? Uh, I know the name of them there. Uh, leave it leave a, in the comments if you guys remember these lands. Really old though. Look at these forests. Tony Roberts. Oh, this, I think this might be uh, one of the Battle Royales or... Uh, I think that's what it was called. Yeah, the white border, but they have the symbols. Like kind of almost like a Chronicle Reaper and Land. Yeah, I, I remember these. Battle Royale, I think, the box beatdown set. I believe. Okay, so let's put those lands aside. Let's grab another stack of cards. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. I like to put these videos out on the weekend, so maybe you can have a, a drink or coffee, sit down, relax, and go over some of these with me. Blue Elemental Blast, Fisher, okay. Ooh, there's uh, Timmy from Timmy Talks right there. Make an appearance. Alabaster Potion, okay. A little dirty, but that's okay. They're older cards. Power Sync, I love that card. Great art too. Stone Rain. Uh, more Circles, always good. Uh, I will definitely add all these to my collection. I love older cards. Any of the anything vintage. Not the Merc Dwellers, but not the original printing. Really cool. I'm just gonna go through these a little bit faster, because I don't think there's gonna be anything too uh, desirable here. Oh, the rack. As soon as I say that. Do you get a decent card? I really do enjoy that card. I'm going to put that one aside. Soul Net. Uh, originally printed in Alpha Beta. Battering Ram. Okay, let's keep these going. Maybe we'll get something really, really spicy at some point here. If I do pass over anything or a value that you think is over a dollar, and I'm not adding it up, please let me know, and I will take a look at these after. And I'll be very appreciative, because if you guys can do some of that work for me, uh, it'll make it a lot easier for me to organize these. Giant Growth. Love the old art for Giant Growth. It's just like a, just a rat sitting beside a pile of bones. Another Stone Rain. Okay, maybe we're going to be getting a lot more white border than I thought we were going to get. I was hoping to get a little bit more older cards. I mean, these are still old, but I mean, black border old cards, I should say. Now, what are you guys' favorites? What out of your, all your favorites, older sets that aren't Alpha, Beta, and Unlimited, or the Four Horsemen sets, what, which ones are they? Fourth edition, fifth edition, which one? Portal, Chronicles. Some people, they like Chronicles, especially if you're trying to get into uh, old school. Ash is Ash is there. Um, it's definitely the cheaper option to get into that format. Now, let me know in the comments what do you guys think. Okay, let's go get another stack. More white cards, it looks like. 
Hill Giants there. Let's just go through these fairly quickly. Ooh, I do like me some Dark Rituals, so I'll put that aside. Okay, keeping it going. Hope you guys are having a great weekend, by the way. I don't know if I've already said that. Ooh, nice. Another older land. I do collect the older lands. Um, do you guys collect older lands? What do you guys feel about uh, lands when it comes to any of the older lands that aren't Alpha, Beta, Unlimited? Which ones do you like the best out of all? Like the white border older lands. Which ones are your favorite to collect? Or if you play old school, which ones do you throw into your deck? I would love to hear that in the comments as we continue to go through here. Pestilence, okay. A lot of white border cards. I'm trying to see if I miss anything. I want to steal artifact. I want to go through this at a decent pace. I don't want this video to be another hour long uh, video, which I don't think it will be. I think it'll be closer to maybe 30, 40 minutes, depending, you know, based on how much cards are actually here. And there hasn't really been any, too many cards to stop and pause at. It's nothing of any substantial value that I could see so far. I might be wrong when I go over these again later on, or if you guys can help me out in the comments. Hmm. Do you got okay, some homelands here. Um, okay. I mean, the thing is, there is there are reserve list cards in here. Right? Uh, homelands did have some, I believe. Okay, we got Green Ward. Okay. Let's blast through here a little quicker. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of repeats here. Wild Growth, great card, though. Hmm. Ooh, Elemental Blast is good. Uh, but that, ooh, that's really, look at that Alabaster potion right there. Really dirty. Okay, let's put those aside. Let's keep going through it. Okay. All right. Let's see. What will we get? Beautiful art. Some of the art in uh, Homelands is very underrated. Look, look at that. Greater Werewolf. Beautiful. Feast of the Unicorn. Uh, one of the first cards I remember seeing at a local game store when I was a kid. Uh, well, not really a game store. It was a comic book store, but they also sold Magic Gathering cards. I remember just looking at this card and just being in awe of the artwork. and, and just, It was just so different than the stuff that I liked at the time. Uh, it was right around Pokemon came out, too. Um, definitely a lot more adult uh, from a kid's perspective when you're looking at these, especially being very young. All right, let's uh, let's go through here. Drudge Spell, Cemetery Gates. Okay, Retribution. A lot of homelands, a lot of homelands here. Okay. Not seeing anything too crazy here. All right. Wait, is this... Uh... I think that one might be a reserveless card, actually. I'm going to put that aside. Uh, that, that might be. I'm not sure. I know there is a lot of Minotaur cards that were on the reserve list when I said, Oh, nice. We have some Mirage here. Decomposition, Cloak of Invisibility, Dazzling Beauty, Horrible Hordes. We got Drain Life there, Sapphire Charm. There might be some good cards here. Dark Banishing. Let's just go through here slow, but let's not miss anything. Benevolent Unicorn, whatever creature science. This is, well, there was Unicorn Tribal recently, right? Maybe that's worth something. See, again, like, it's going to be, there's two of them there. Put that aside. It's going to be a pain going through all these things after another Fable. Oh, my God. Fable Destiny, Dark Banishing, Ebony Charm, and Feeblement. Uh, Grave, Servitude, Fairy's Curse. Um, hmm. <laughs> now, let me know, please, if I am missing anything. Uh, this is going to be a very tough video to edit afterwards. Uh, Jolt. Nice. Civic Guild Mage. Flare. We're going to get into... Illumination. Is Illumination... Ah, oh, is Illumination worth something? I'm going to put that aside. Uh, Harbor Guardian. Haunting Apparition. Hmm. Ebony Charm. Okay, let's get back into some homelands here. That was short-lived, that little uh, Mirage experience there. Just grab another stack. 
All right. We got some more white border cards here. Uh, Keldron Dead, Portent, Regeneration, Pestilence. The conditions on these are incredible. Wow. Okay, let's keep it going. Feedback on Summon. Yeah, the conditions of here, they just, wow, they're really nice. Seeing old cards with white border and then they just look this crisp, it's something you don't see a lot of. More portal cards, okay. Arrogant Vampire, Bog Imp, Vampiric Touch, Volcanic Hammer, Ritual of Steel. So we're going back to Mirage. Dream Fighter, Ray of Command, Armor of Thorns, Wall of Resistance. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go over a lot of these after. Yeah, Chaos Charm. Because I know there might be some of the here. That's a... Uh, uh, some of them, are like, I'm looking at them like, I feel like I've seen you in a Market Movers. I swear to God. Old Stone Rain there at the Black Border is nice. Prismatic Boon. Divine Offering. Okay. Seeding Charm, Sabertooth Cobra. Wow, it's just cool seeing these older cards. Maybe there'll be a few surprises in here. Who knows? Maybe... That would be nice to see, uh, you know, a guaranteed hit. That would be nice. But will we see that? I don't know. It's hard to say right now. But, uh, I mean, it, it's, you know, I think it's worth the gamble, though, when you are getting older older cards. Venerable Mark, we're starting again with more Portal cards, Vampiric Touch. A lot of these cards we've seen in uh, more than, more than a, a handful of Stalking Tiger. Horn Turtle. Uh, I know Portal Three Kingdoms is, is worth a little bit more, though. That's the set you really want to see. Put those aside. Let's keep it going. Okay. Ooh, let's put those there. Square Cat. So we are getting into Prophecy now. Uh, foil. Uh, I know this is a counter spell that's used in some decks. I'm going to put that aside. Just in case. Mana Vapors. Okay. Not too bad. I see anything I know for sure. Foil. I'm just going to put those foils aside. Um, all of Vipers. No. Sword Dancer. And we got more white border cards. I'm going to put this stack here now. I'm going to have so many different stacks. And I have to go through them all later. I, I do that to separate then to make it a little easier for me to know which cards I'm going to look up right away, and then I'll just separate them by set afterwards. Um, and then go from there. We have a lot of portal cards to go through here. A lot of portal cards. Anaconda Squeeze there. Look at that. Defiant Stand. Look at the, look how dark. That, it's so weird seeing uh, the, the darkness in the text there compared to anything else. Command of Unsummoning, Fire Imp, Raise Dead, Raging Goblin again. Great card. Another Bull Hippo. Untamed Wild, search your deck for a Plains, Island Swamp, or a Forest card, and put the card into play. I, I'm going to put that aside. I feel like that might be Warrior's Charge, Bee Sting. Okay, let's go back to some White Border cards here. Let's see if there's anything of value. Plague Rats is, is a decent card. Pestilence, we got Shrink there. All right, starting the second stack of the two. So we are officially at the halfway point. Um, let's see what we get. Okay, more white border cards here. Starting things off. Force Spike. What do we have? What do we have? Okay, nothing too crazy right now. There's no uh, guaranteed value. I, well... There will be. I know when I go through this after, there is going to be cards that are worth pulling out of here. Throw a bone. Okay. Aladdin's Ring. So many familiar cards here. Okay. That might be. That might be. I don't want to pull it out, though. I don't want to pull out if I don't have to. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Nothing too crazy here. Nothing too crazy. Leave some feedback. Look at that. Great. Oh, gosh. Quentin Hoover, amazing artist. Amazing. Who's your favorite Magic Gathering artist? I want to know in the comments. I think mine actually might be Quentin Hoover. I've given it some thought. I do like Chris Rush, though, as well. We have some Fallen Empires cards to take a look at here. Goblin Grenade. Hey, hey-oh. It's a good card. 
you want to build popper goblins, it's great for that. It's great for any goblin deck, to be honest. Okay, let's keep this going. Okay. Nothing too crazy to talk about right now. So how are you guys uh, enjoying, I guess, uh, Strixhaven? When I'm, I'm going to be releasing this, will be out. How are you guys enjoying that set so far? I think it looks pretty decent. I think it looks okay. Uh, it's interesting seeing the guilds are, are, you know, similar to Ravnica's guilds, but it's it's a school. A lot of Harry Potter elements to it, I feel. But, yeah, I mean, it looks okay. Uh, I'm not going to complain too much about it. I don't play a lot of standards, so I don't want to go too much into the mechanics of that part of the game. But let me know in the comments what you think about it so far. Okay, let's grab another stack. Okay, we're going... Uh, into more prophecy, rethink. Uh, more rethinks. A couple more drums. Okay, we're going back to fallen empires. Uh, these are not the sets you want to see too much of. But alas, we do have it. Uh, I was hoping to see a little more goblin grenades if we were going to go back to this set. No goblin grenades though, right now. Oh, there you go. Speaking of the devil, another goblin grenade. Oh, another goblin grenade. Will I get a playset? I just need one more. Maybe I will. Maybe I will get the playset. I think my, the odds are in my favor right now. Okay, imposing visage. Skate zombies. Okay. Going back to prophecy. Not, not a super old set. Um, but I guess it's old enough to be included as a vintage, uh, <laughs> old lot of Magic Gathering cards. I guess it is an old, older set, so, I mean, it, it was, uh, fairly accurate in the listing, I, I, I guess. Um, Spore Frog, I do like that card. Hmm. Yeah, it's not, not looking too good. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying the video anyways, uh, I feel bad that there's nothing that I can really pull out here to uh, for any sort of excitement, but I hope you guys are following along with these cards, and if you do see anything that I skipped over, uh, let me know, and uh, that will help me out. Um, but as of right now, yeah, it's, um, it's, a, it's an odd one. It's an odd one. We're going back to Mirage, guys. Boomerang right here. Got four of those. Bay Falcon. Two. And we got more Boomerangs. That's uh, Fairy's Drake, Soar, Sapphire Charm, Sea Scryer, Cloak of Invisibility. Okay, and the more Bay Falcons. It's Fairy's Curse, it's Fairy's Drake. I'm seeing a lot of the same cards from Mirage. Not, you know, not uh, not a lot of uh, nothing really expensive. And I know there is a lot of expensive cards in Mirage. We're not seeing any of these. Yeah. Well, this person most likely knew the value of some of the cards. He probably pulled a bunch out. That's my guess. That's There he is again. Uh, that is my guess. Uh, that's probably what he did. And that's why you're not, we're not seeing too much value here. See more portal cards here. Gorilla Warrior, Coral Eel, Grizzly Bears. We've seen all of these cards before. Nothing really new. Yeah, we've seen all of these. So we'll go through these slowly. Don't want to name the same cards over and over again. Okay. Well, yeah, you can't win them all. You can't win them all. The thing is, it's it's a lot harder to purchase stuff like this. Nowadays, there's just so many ways to check secondary markets for value. Um, people, because of things like eBay and the internet, YouTube, people know the value of their stuff now, so it's becoming increasingly more difficult to, uh, you know, find, like, that lottery, get that gambling lottery sense where you, someone doesn't really know what they have, and you purchase it, and you end up, you know, flipping it for a profit or investing. It's a, a fun way to invest as well, but, yeah, it doesn't happen as often nowadays, so I, I that's something people need to, I guess, get past, um, so it's unfortunate because you are a lot of the things you will find on um, on eBay. Most of the lots, people have probably went through them. Whatever they couldn't sell locally, they just throw on eBay. 
Um, and then that's, that's basically what you're getting. It's kind of the bulk of what couldn't sell locally. So people go to eBay. Because, uh, you know, eBay's a risk, too. When you're selling on there, you know, a lot of buyers have crazy protections, right? So it's... When you're buying stuff on eBay, people can just say pretty much anything and uh, get a refund, right? Or something other. Uh, Win Drake, we have some more starter set cards. Haven't seen those in a while. Counter target sorcery spell. Let's extinguish. Okay, interesting that we are seeing... <laughs> I like the art of that. It's crazy. We are seeing some... Port, uh, not portal, some starter cards. Uh, Willow Elf. Wow, you don't see that a lot. Interesting. Uh, yeah, it's weird. We haven't seen like any at all of, of val like real value where you see it and you notice it right away. We do have a rare there with the uh, Thorn Elemental. Whoop, we are getting a few more rares here. But these are starter rares. So we have Thorn Elemental. We have uh, Sylvan Yeti. And that's it. That's it, guys. That was uh, that was it. That was the rares. That's that's uh, that's everything. That is everything we have right now. Those are the rares. Okay, we're going back to things we've seen before again and again. It's crazy because it's an old lot, but it's just so many of the same cards over and over and over again. Landwork dead. Okay, I just want to see. Just give me a different sick. Let's go back. Can we go back to the dark? I, was, I think we're having fun right at the beginning. We're going through cards in the dark in this lot. But we are not seeing more of those now. Well, okay. We're going to torment now. It's tormenting me. And hopefully I'm not tormenting you too much as we go through all of this. Okay. Compulsion. I did like this set, though. It's weird because a Sanger Vampire is a rare in this set. That's very, it's really odd. And then eventually it just became an uncommon that you'd find in almost every single starter deck that they would have, they would make from this time forward. Um, I'm not seeing too much craziness here, but uh, oh, but I, I am appreciating the art here. This is the the art is incredible. The older sets. Asking a root walla. Good card. And foil, this thing is worth a lot, by the way. So if you have any foil basking root wallas, yeah, probably uh, take them out and put them somewhere else because they are not bulk, let me tell you that. Got more starter stuff. Soul Feast, Mind Rots. Okay. Do we have any starter rares? No, we do not. No, we do not. All right, two more stacks, and then we are done this lot. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, thankfully for you guys, it wasn't uh, over an hour long like my uh, uh, my typical eBay <laughs> massive random buys would be. So we kept it nice and short. Goblin Hero. Interesting. I like that uh, art. Um, but, you know, sometimes you, you take a little bit of a gamble. And it won't pay off a lot. The odds are, especially buying Magic Gathering cards, people, unfortunately, they just know the value of their cards. And a lot of the valuable car cards are all making their way to, you know, people who have been collecting for years and they're very aware of what they have. Um, if, you know, it, it's just weird. Selling blind lots, it just doesn't really seem like the way to go if you want to make the most profit. Uh, okay, so let's flip these over. We do have more lands. So we have a... Swamp, these are from a uh, beatdown box, I, I believe. Oh, we do have a, oh, that's interesting. Swamp from uh, Ice Age. We have Avalanche Riders, it's a, I like that card. Tornado. Okay, let's put those here. We're going back to the old lands. Okay, come on, let's get something good. Maybe there's going to be some good land here that will bottomless vault. Hollow trees. Uh, no, probably not. What am I talking about? Jeez. What am I talking about? Good lands in this this lot? Tsh, that's not happening. All right. Well, it looks like we are getting down to the wire. Animate artifact. It's a good card, though, but I'm not sure about the value right now. Uh, great art. Wow, Christopher Rush. Great stuff. Great stuff. All right. That was it. Well, let me just check the box. Make sure it's... 
Nope, there was nothing else in there. Okay, well, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, whatever the value total was, I'll have it on screen here. Um, I'm assuming it's not much, but if you guys can help me out uh, as you're watching this footage, comment down below if there was a card that I happened to miss, and I will thank you for it, and I will probably put that aside. Okay, guys, uh, again, hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you in the next Market Movers or Random Buy. Being a patron will help me produce more Market Movers and add to the funds that I will use for my Random Buys, and also to my coffee fund, because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.